श्री एम के विष्णु कुमार जी thank you mr chairperson i first of all thank uh, my leader shrimati sonia ji shri rahul ji for permitting me to speak on this bill this bill is all about the chartered accounts the cost to work accounts and the company secretaries amendment bill see at this juncture i want to recollect one quote by charles scott he said creativity is great but not in the accounts see life is full of balance world is full of balance to achieve this balance we are having these chartered accounts and their nobility and the wisdom of these chartered accounts have brought india up to this kind of level in economic and environment see this bill bill says because of the economic and corporate climate change we are introducing this bill that is what given in this amendment act i would like to know what is the economic and corporate climatic change that is forcing this government to bring this sort of bill see this bill circles around about icai ai institute of chartered accounts of india and the disciplinary committee it's one of the arms of this committee of the icai icai was formed in 1949 it was passed in the parliament and it is a statutory committee body it is autonomous body but still controlled by the corporate affairs ministry of corporate affairs but there is no funding by the government it is a mass institute it is not like I, iit or iim it is a class institute several lakh students are being promoted as a chartered accounts every year it has got around 40 members this icai out of 40 32 are from council members they are chartered accounts eight are from the government nominees so still before 10 years there was no interference from the government what is the need of icai why it has to have a disciplinary committee the disciplinary committee has five members initially now they are having three members from the council they are chartered accounts and uh, by default the president of the disciplinary committee is the president of the administrative committee icai the duty of icai disciplinary committee is to get the complaints like from cb from the banks from the corporates from the shareholders even you and me can go and complain in icai about any problem misconduct in the icai and uh, institute of cost accountants and comp company secretaries of course this committee disciplinary committee will listen to all the problems will scrutinize the merits and demerits of the case and try to give the punishment and award the punishment accordingly as early as possible of course i do agree this government is keen in disposing the cases early i appreciate we also appreciate but at the same time why the interfer interference for the government is so much that the earlier the disciplinary committee has only five members out of five three are from the icai two are already in the government government nominee see eight years 10 years back there was no interference from the government but later on two government nominees has to be appointed was the amendment and so the icai also happily agreed to keep them on board with the two government nominees and now the government says independent independent and appointing one more that is they are increasing from two government nominees to three government nominees of disciplinary committee where is the justice where is the dependence independence where is the freedom where is the independent evaluation of the case the members and ironically one more important point we have to note the president of the disciplinary committee has to be a from the government nominee where is the justice where is the justification see the medical council of india dental council of india bar council of india they are all the professionals in bar council an engineer cannot be the president a disciplinary committee 
In medical council, a lawyer cannot be a disciplinary committee president. See, he decides the case. He awards the punishment. Of course, there's a delay. It will be expedited, no doubt. But where is the freedom for the committee to function? See, the cases are given by SEBI, not an order institutions. They are given by the SEBI, the IT department. What is the nature of the case? Is there any violation in the account standards? Is there any violation in the audit standards? Is the, government, is the company following the Company Act, IT Act? Is the expenditure is overwritten? All those things can be, it's a fact-finding committee. You need to have a professional person. It is a quasi-judicial. You cannot simply appoint, government cannot arm twist the body by appointing more in numbers, so that out of three, out of five, three of them government nominees, where is justification? Where is the freedom? This government claims everything to be free, independent. Before and all, OMG is, oh my God, expression. Honorable chairperson knows, OMG, oh my God. But now, ordinary citizen says, OMG means opaque Modi government. There is no transparency at all. Everywhere the government wants to interfere. See, India, this Indian, Indian democracy is very strongest and the largest democracy in the world. The, some certain institutions have to run freely. There should not be any domination or arm twisting or muscling by the government. What is the need? What is the climatic change? You are telling about the environment, you are telling about the economic and the corporate change. What is the compulsion for the government to bring one more member from two to three? You are increasing the number. And also the president of the disciplinary committee should be from the government nominee. What is the justification? Why you are not allowing the people to function independently? This is a very important problem. If this bill is being passed today, this will be a black day for the chartered accounts of India. One more thing. Ironically, the standing committee, see already there is an ICAI, Institute of Chartered Accounts of India. Now another committee called the Indian Institute of Chartered Accounts can be convened. This is a recommendation by the standing committee. It is a mass, mass uh, institute. It is not a class institute. Several lakh people are being... See, the certification powers are given to ICAI. When you are going to dilute it, seven lakh students, see, when you are going to dilute the powers of ICACI, ICAI, what is the need? Why the government has to do, why the government has to give another parallel body called the Indian Institute of Chartered Accounts? It is not fair at all. See, Piyush Goyal, Hal, Harish Salve, they are all from the members of the ICAI. Uh, see, our me honorable member sitting in front of me, he is also a member. Mr. Premachandran, I do not know, he is a lawyer. See, M.D. Gupta, Rajya Sabha MP, our member. I do not know why you are looking at me. You, you must be a member. See, all the powers are being diluted. See, this should not be permitted. If this house is deaf and mute in this issue, then we are doing injustice to our conscience. The wisdom and the nobility of the Indian ch Chartered Accounts people should be held high. It should not be diluted. What is the need for the government to introduce this bill at this point of time? What is the why the government says another parallel? And one more thing, this government claims it is for the poor people. It's a very important subject in this bill. What the government says, it can include another charter, chapter to provide for a separate chapter on registration of firms with the respective institutes and include firms under the purview of disciplinary mechanism. And also, very important, to provide for autonomy to the council of respective institutes to fix the fees. See, for medical, you have to spend in lakhs. For engineering also, you have to spend little more. But for chartered accounts, few thousands. But here, the government is giving autonomy to the institutes to fix the fee. Where is the justification, honorable member, honorable chairperson? I, I sincerely submit, even the members from the treasury branch also should think with the conscience. See, if, they, if the institute started fixing the fees, and if the government is giving full autonomy to the institutes, then where is the limit? Where is the ceiling? Where the poor people, even though they are competent enough, they are qualified, how they can get this education of chartered accounts? These things should be considered, and I strongly... The Congress party strongly object the introduction of this bill, sir, and this bill should not be passed. And let the Honorable Minister 
give a comprehensive bill. If the deed is so important, let them come with a comprehensive bill where the fee structure is revised, where there's a ceiling, and the governance, the disciplinary committee members should not exceed these the members of the ICAI. The council members should exceed the government nominees. Otherwise, the balance will not be met, and thereby the downfall of our country, as far as the chartered accounts, will begin. So we should vehemently, we, we vehemently oppose this bill. And I thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Shri.